Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Cooking and Crafts. I'm Ava. And I'm Corbin, and today we'll be showing you how to make DIY funny upcycled dog clothes. So here's the deal. We got these old clothes uh, that we don't really want anymore. We were gonna get rid of them, but we are deciding to make something new out of them. Let's make some dog clothes. This is how we're gonna start it. We're gonna actually cut the collar off. This is the collar right here. We want to cut along this seam, but don't cut off this button right here. Oh. All right, now we got the collar cut off. I'm gonna use this collar for my Schnauzer dog, Kaiser. Pretty snazzy. It's like the easiest way to make a shirt fancy. You just gotta put a collar on it. <laughs> All right, my turn. I'm gonna use this cute little girl shirt for my dog, Pippa. This is actually really easy to cut fabric. There we go. Ta-da! All right, there we go. All right. Now we gotta go and find our dogs to see if these things will fit around their necks. Let's go. This is the hard part. Kids Cooking and Crafts, I'm Princess Belle, and today I'll be showing you how to make a Beauty and the Beast Princess Belle Rice Krispie Dress Cake. Just kidding, it's only me, Chef Ava. As you can see, I have all of my beautiful cake parts. I use five batches of Rice Krispies. I poured all of our Rice Krispie treats into a mold and pound it. And so it was really compact. This was our bowl, and these were a round cake pan. These were in our cupcake pan. Now let me show you how to make this cake dress. So first what we're gonna do is cut holes inside of the Rice Krispie molds, 
And so that bell can slide right in. I'm just going to put a little bit of white frosting on here so the next layer can stick. Make sure the holes are lined up. Last layer. See how it's kind of like a bottom of a dress? Now we're just going to frost the whole cake yellow. to jump in. I'm gonna take off our pretty little shoes. You ready to dive in, Belle? Let's do this thing. There we go. Well, what do you think? Mm, I think it needs a little bit more detail. I'm adding around the waist to cover up this gap. There we go. Hmm, I still think she's missing something. Why don't we add like the loop-de-loops on the side? There we go. Hmm, oh, I know. I'm gonna add one of these chocolate candies on each tip. Here we go. Wow, doesn't she look awesome? Whee! At the bottom of her dress, I'm going to alternate the red candies and the white frosting. Wow! This looks so cool! It kind of looks like a candy cane or a Christmas dress. You are probably wondering what we will be using for the little cupcakes here. Well, we will be putting a red fondant rose on top of it. Like this. That really looks like a rose, doesn't it? You wanna learn how to make them? Let's do it. We start with a whole bunch of tiny red balls of fondant. And then we take this wax paper and fold it on top. Now we squish each one flat to make the rose petals. Now let's carefully take this off and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, these are great rose petals. As you can see on this one, the middle is all curled up. So we're gonna take the first one and roll it up. See, doesn't that look like an inside of a rose? And now we're just gonna add on to it. I'm gonna start peeling the edges out so it looks like it's blooming. You just keep staggering them and adding on. Ooh, this is pretty. What do you guys think? Let's put it on our Rice Krispie Treat. There we go. Beauty and the Beast wouldn't be without the roses. And there you have it. That's how you make a Beauty and the Beast Princess Belle dress cake. Made from Rice Krispies. This is a great cake for birthday parties and any fun occasions. Have you guys seen the movie yet? Comment down below. Oh, I just love these pretty little roses. If you guys make this treat, don't forget to tag us on Instagram or Twitter. We love to see your creations. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Bye-bye.